All right, y'all recording on your side? We recording, Kyle? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, man, here he is. What's up, brother? How's it going? New to the family, new to the Beats by Dre family. One time, the guy Bubba Wallace. What's happening, bro? How do you feel? I feel good, man. It's it's been a it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I guess we can call it a month now of, of just chaos. But uh, getting through the thick of the thick, trying to come out on top of it each and every time. So it's it's been a fun learning process, a stressful one, but uh, but never stop learning. That's for sure. Listen, man. Pressure makes diamonds. You know what I mean? So you shine, you shining bright, baby. <laughs> Uh, first, you know, uh, we gotta we gotta point out you're the first NASCAR driver to be partnered up with Beats by Dre. Uh, they made the announcement the other day. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. You know, the, uh, what you represent and what Beats by Dre represents is inclusivity, not hate, not divisiveness. That's right. Um, That's how does right. it feel, man? To have Beats Beats by Dre reach out and, and want to do something and and officially name me as one of their ambassadors is, is a humbling experience for sure. And I'm excited to educate people on just how much I love music. Um, so it, it ties in very well to what's going on and, and, uh, everyday life for me. Everybody's so proud of you, despite, you know, all the, you know, um, attempts at negative energy. There's so much positive mm -hmm. around you, even your performance on the track, you know, currently ranked top 20 in points. That's right. Um, it feels like the positivity outweighs the negative, even though some of the negative has been louder. It's crazy that the negative is the loudest, right. but there is so much more positive out there. And, and I can't be more proud of the efforts from NASCAR, but just the direction that we're heading. How offended were you when the tweeted that you owed some NASCAR an apology? What did, what did that day feel like? Yeah. I just kind of, you know, shrugged it off and, and, and I took a, took a couple hours to figure out what I wanted to say. I had some funny stuff to tweet back. Like I had some really good just ammo in the bank to fire back. And, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the high road here. Look and, at you, uh, bro. You know, yo, take yeah, the high road. Yo, 26 years man. old, more mature than the Like how does that work out? Yeah, man. It's a sad state of affairs. That's how it works out. Um, and with that, you know, you know, takes us right into what became uh, an international incident uh, yeah. when your team showed up at Talladega and there was a garage door pull that was tied as a noose. And one of the biggest misconceptions about that incident is that you actually saw it or made the report yourself. Um, can you talk us through um, how it actually transpired for people who refused to understand that this was something that happened on your behalf? Yeah, I think, um, you know, for for everybody out there that, that doesn't really know the story and that, that need the facts, um, yeah, it was brought to my attention. I was there, my crew member had found it, had reported it to NASCAR, NASCAR came to me, the word got out, FBI got involved, they found that it was not a hate crime towards me, which is great. I've been saying that it wasn't directed towards me or my family. So thank God for that. But in fact, it still was a noose. That's not a, a normal garage door pull. It's uh, it was tied like a noose. So there we go. So, and I, and I, and I would tell people, I was like, you know, noose, no noose, but it was a noose. What, however you want to split and argue and do all that stupid shit about a goddamn noose. That still doesn't ignore the fact or, or negate mm -hmm. the fact that there were people with Confederate flags taunting aggressively right. around the facility right. because of, A, the banning of that symbol at NASCAR races, and also, I believe, because there was a, a black man inside in the race that they wanted to make fearful or some, somehow antagonize. I would love to hear from you as being yeah. in and around yeah. a sport that, you know— uh, operates primarily in the southern part of the United States and has a right. has a fan base that traditionally is characterized, um, you know, with either being OK with ca uh, Confederate flags or just ignoring them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree 100 percent with that. And so for me, it was a lot of learning, listening, educating myself, what we have been trying to preach to our fellow followers, our competitors, whatever, maybe crew members. Just, just everybody in the world, you know, listen and understand, educate yourselves on what's going on. So I did that and 
and reading tweets and, and people that have been to races that have uh, that won't go to races because of the Confederate flag. They've been there, but they won't come back because of the Confederate flag. And and so it's just like, hey, we can we can take initiative on this and and uh, act swiftly and get this out of here. We, we have got to change that narrative. We've got to do. Uh, we've got to stand up as a sport and say, hey, we are open arms, welcoming welcoming everybody to come in, come have a good time. Bubba Wallace Jr., welcome to the Beats by Dre family, man. We salute you. Uh, we're not in the car, but we at the track. We riding for you, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you all. Thanks.